Warning, the hidden camera stunts in the show are performed by trained professionals. Do not try this at home. Welcome to Walk the Prank. This is a real snake. This is not. But the substitute teacher we've hired for today doesn't know that. I hope you enjoy the prank. <laughs> Claudia? Claudia. Hey, Mr. Williams, Hi, nice Mr. to Williams. meet you. Nice to meet you. This is Claudia. She thinks she's just teaching our class for the day. She has no idea she's going to be checking out our pet snakes. I have a teacher assistant for okay. the week. It's Herman this week. He's going to come up here and just introduce you to the class and, and show you around the class. So that'll okay. be it. Herman, I want you to come up here and meet Mrs. Jacob. Yes, sir. Remember, Claudia has no idea she's being filmed. So these are the snakes. Oh, wow. This is Taylor. And this one's Brittany. This one's really pretty. And this is a rock python. It's awesome. His name's Slinky. It sleeps most of the time, so it's 28 years old, so. It's, oh my god, you're about to do that? Yeah. It's not dangerous? Nope. Okay, come on this side. It's good she has her phone out, because she's going to want to film what happens next. How's it going? Oh, 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 oh. Watch your fingers, Bailey. Body is trying to get our fake snake back in the box. No, he's trying to get out. No. What do I do? You just walk a prank! Oh! Are you serious? This is you are real? amazing. You are yes, no right here. You give me no fucking yes. <laughs> Oh my god, are you kidding me? You want some give me a heart attack? No. <laughs> has this been in here? Ooh, ooh, pocket candy. You didn't want to take the lint off that first? Nah, it adds texture. Mm. Do I detect a hint of sandbox sand? I was just recently at the playground. Impressive. What's up, guys? Will, apple juice me. Whoa, someone seems confident today. What's going on? Somebody has been sending and receiving text messages from a super cute girl. Ooh, I hope it's me. That's awesome. Can we meet her? Absolutely. Just as soon as I meet her. Wait, you haven't met her yet? How do you know she's super cute? She said so. See? I said, what do you look like? She said, super cute. I'm convinced. Hmm. Here she is. What? What? Her favorite movie is Dark Crystal. That's my favorite movie. I've never met anyone that says that's their favorite movie. <laughs> well, technically, you still haven't. Oh. I think I'm coming down with something. Chance is coming down with the love bug. Tell her, Chance. Oh, he told you guys about Lori? Wait a minute. How do you know Lori? She's my cousin's sister's friend's bandmate's cousin's sister's friend. Anyway, she's a huge fan of our channel, and you're her favorite, and she asked for a number. Well, I'm glad you gave it to her. She even does pranks with her friends. Do you know how hard it is to find a girl who loves pranking? <laughs> you're sick, we get it. She's just like me. She likes to laugh, watch people scream, to get their blood pumping a million miles per hour. <laughs> Make them so scared they pee their pants. That only happened once, and I had a lot of lemonade that day. Are you guys ever gonna let me live that down? Doubt it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Uncle Will, that pizza looks good. Yeah, it's gonna be, and you can't have any. <laughs> oh, I gotta use the bathroom. Did you just wet yourself? No. <laughs> yes, you did. No, I didn't. Turn your camera off. Stop playing. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Will, you are so unsmooth. <laughs> Apple juice me. terrible. Bailey, it's obvious you're sick. Why didn't you just stay at home? My mom didn't want to catch it. Can you at least move your snot sculptures off the table? Um, I like to refer to it as my phlegm garden. Hey, Chance, can I borrow $10? For what? Just to buy a little candy for the bike ride home today. I already loaned you $15 for candy. I'll pay you back. 
I promise. No can do, little bro. Bailey, can I please have... Nope, you still owe me five. Dusty, Not can happening! I... You owe me ten. You don't understand. This is serious. Guys, I think it's time. Herman, we're all here for you. But we're concerned. Oh, no. Is this a sugar vention? You have a serious candy problem, Herman. <laughs> I do not. What? This is worse than I thought. Herman, you're over $30 in debt, and you're only 11. That means that at this rate, by the time you're 99, you'll be $270 in the hole. Who cares? I'll be a famous basketball player slash rapper by then. Herman, face it, you have a problem. Remember that time you tried to fill up your bathtub with chocolate milk? The jacuzzi was a great idea. Hey, that's my dipping sauce. Herman, you drank half a bottle of maple syrup. Well, it's curved at the top, and there's a hole where the handle is, so technically I drank less than half. He's in too deep. Ugh. Guys, I can quit any time. Fine, then quit. Fine. I will. Fine, then do it. Problem. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hi everyone, welcome to Walk the Prank. Today we are pranking someone who has been put in charge of protecting this sweet shop. But what they don't know is we're about to pull off the candy heist of the century. We are the Sugar Posse. So for this prank, we've taken over a candy shop in a real mall. And there's our target now. Mm -hmm. We've got a shoplifter, code purple. Code purple. Meet John. He thinks he's here for his first day as a security guard in the mall. But when he does Uncle Will a solid, he's in for the surprise of his life. Your first detail is actually right here with William. Hey, how's it going, man? How can How you help you today? I'm William. John. You'll be helping me right back here, my friend. You can come around. I'm going to have to step away for about 20 minutes. So you just want me to watch it while you step away? That's all you got to do, man. Let me give you an apron also, my friend. You can what keep that on. I'll right. put it right over there. Customer's always right. Be friendly. They like to talk. Just be friendly. Mm -hmm. All right? Yeah, yeah. Thank I think I can so handle much. it. Great. And I'll, I'll be right back. Central to Unit 10. Central Unit 10. Testing. By the way, that security walkie-talkie, it's connected to nothing. And now that we've got John all alone in our candy shop, it's time to begin the candy heist. How's Hi. it going? Good, how are you doing? Hi. You want to just step away for a minute? I'm going to be helping out. My name oh. is John. Hi, John. I'm glad John? to give you guys help. Yeah, John. Can is I show it... you a card trick? A card trick? Is it OK if he shows you a card trick? Sure. OK. I mean, why not? I don't know. As you can see, all these are right We've started things off with a simple card trick, mm -hmm. just to get John right where we want him. Whoa. Yay! That was awesome. <laughs> Wow, Very right on, good. buddy. That's Very pretty good. impressive. That's awesome. Can I show you one more? Oh, the hand. OK, can you do a quick like hand? Thank you. He's been doing it to my husband for All two right. days. Um, so. really good. I'll, I have a key right here. Yeah, All right. the key. As long as you got the key, I I'll, I'll trust you. All right. OK. As long so, as you don't have a hand come for me. Exactly, right? Just your average day at a candy store, right. getting handcuffed to the counter by an 11-year-old. Good. All right. So you do, do you yeah, get out? Yeah, I think I'm OK. To get out? Okay, this is a really cool trick. You're gonna like this. Abracadabra. Alakazoo. Who is stuck? That is you. Yeah. Scram, lady. Thanks, kid. Sorry, buddy. Wait, what? Now, allow me to properly introduce myself. My name is Herman Baldwin. My friends call me the Mongoose. Three, two, one, oh, go, go boys! Hello. Wow. <laughs> hey! Help! Help! Hey, hey, hey. Help! Help! I got it! I got it! Help! Oh. We had this heist planned out to the second. Once the gumball machine was empty, we had to be out of there. Help! Security! Someone help! 
There he goes with that worthless walkie-talkie again. I'm really glad we gave it to him. Hey! I got Code Purple! Help! He's Candy Star! Kid! Help! Help! At this point, you're probably wondering where Bailey is. Here she comes now. I got Code Purple! Code oh, Purple! Bailey. Is that my stuff? Yeah, you just stole the whole store. What, what happened? Go. What happened? Tell me what you happened. Wanted, the kid wanted to show me. He came in with his, which I thought was his mother. What? He showed me a card trick. OK? Yeah. And after he showed me a card trick, he's like, can I do the handcuff one? Who did? This little kid. He came in with his mother. And and he was going to do the card trick. And he paid the lady to this leave is... after he handcuffed me. And they came out of everywhere what? and stole the candy. Yeah, it was literally like. Uh, this is everything I have. I'm so sorry. I, I Help me out here. Can you get me out here? You know what just happened? You just walked the prank. That was crazy. I, I literally thought that was real. Yeah. 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 I thought I was legit hanged up. I was screaming for help to know it was coming. Yeah. I just walked the prank. Woo! <laughs> that was really nice of the candy store to give us all this candy after the prank. <laughs> I only like the green ones. I used to like the green ones, too. I can't even taste them with my cold. But who uses no to candy? <laughs> Guys, do you have to eat this in front of me? I've been candy free for three days. We're proud of you, buddy. Hmm? Lori stood me up. Really? That doesn't sound like her. I'm sure she had a good reason. Oh, she had a great reason. She fell off her horse and broke her arm. <laughs> I'm out of tissues. I gotta go get more. What's this girl's deal? She was so into me, and then she just left me hanging. I'm gonna tell her off. Oh, here she is. Want to try again tonight? Yeah, sure. See you there. LOL. Way to tell her off, bro. Wait a minute, Chance. If you've never seen this girl, how do you know she's real? How do you know someone's not messing with you? Who would go through all that trouble just to mess with me? Besides, Bailey knows her. She's the one that gave her... <laughs> Bailey. Remember the time we used our fake snake to prank Claudia? Well, if you thought that was funny, watch these next two teachers walk the prank. Yeah. Yeah. Bailey, you have to clean this up. How's your cold, Bailey? Or should I say, Laurie? What are you talking about? The jig is up. We know it's you that's been texting me, so it's time to come clean. I want you to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Fine, I've got nothing to hide. And I want you to swear on Mr. Nibble's life. Bam. Mr. Nibbles never hurt anyone. First question. Do you know, or have you ever had a crush on me? No. She's lying. I got this, Herman. Are you Lori? No. She's lying. I don't know. Mr. Nibbles didn't die. He's probably in on it. 
Bailey, I knew you'd do anything for a prank, but I didn't know you'd go this far. Let's go, guys. Mr. Nibbles, does Bailey keep putting plastic wrap on my toilet seat? Mr. Nibbles isn't taking any more questions. Ugh, colds are so gross. Who knew there was so much mucus in one human head? It's not it's just your brain leaking. That's why you gotta try to swallow most of it so you don't get dumber. Where did you hear that? It doesn't matter, I believe it. Ugh, this is all my sister's fault. She keeps our bedroom window open all night. I keep my bedroom window open because of my night farts. Gross, Herman. Sometimes it wakes me up because the windows rattle, but it's not my fault. The doctor says I have an overactive butt. My sister doesn't have butt problems. She's just really afraid of this stupid monster. What monster? He's called Pigman. <laughs> it's not funny. I'm exhausted. She keeps me up all night. What is a Pigman? It's from some kid's book about a farmer and a pig who gets struck by lightning. They're fused together and become this man-pig creature who sneaks into kids' bedrooms to get revenge on kids who don't believe in him. I've got to stop eating bacon. This is Walk the Prank. And here's the prank we're doing tonight. We've hired a real babysitter to babysit me, a kid who's afraid of the pig man. Of course, the sitter will never have heard of the pig man. Until she comes face to face with this guy. That's right, I'm the pig man. And I am gonna scare some babysitters. Melissa, this is Dusty. Hey! This is my wife, Sally. This... And here's our target now. Meet Larissa. She thinks she's here to babysit Dusty and Herman and read Herman a bedtime story. Well, that's exactly what she's gonna do. But here's the cool part. The book she's gonna read was written by us. It's about a scary pig man that lives under the bed. And we're gonna bring the book to life. So a few hours before our targets arrived, I got into my pig man makeup. And voila. While Dusty is keeping our sitter busy, I'm gonna get under the bed and get ready for the prank. Hey, can you come and read me my bedtime story now? Yeah, sure. Thank you. So uh, what is this story that you like to read? Hmm, this is my favorite book. Really? Yeah. It, it scares me. The bed. Yeah, it scares me. <laughs> you like being scared? That's interesting. <laughs> you like scary books before bed. The only reason I want to read this is because it's like about a babysitter. Really? You're a babysitter. So well, it's hopefully like... the babysitter is like cool and not like <laughs> get overtaken by whatever's under uh -huh. the bed. Oh, don't worry. You'll see who's under the bed soon enough. But right now, let's get to our story. Caleb had a problem. Whenever he went to sleep, it was under the bed. It was a very scary pig man. It was grumpy because no one believed in him. That is why it liked to scare children. One night, a nice babysitter came by to look after Caleb. She read him a story. What's you? This is creeping me out a little bit. Join the club. I kind of don't want to turn the page. Wow, Larissa's one brave babysitter. And now that we've got a real din, it's time to bring our book to life. It said, I, I will scare the babysitter. So it made the windows rattle. Time to cue our tree branch against the window. What the heck? It's not even windy outside tonight. Then it made the car alarm begin its honk honking. Time to cue our car alarm. <laughs> Is that your car? Your no. parents' car? That's him. Um, what about yeah. a different book? <laughs> no, keep reading it. But the pig man is making all these things happen. That is really weird. <sighs> Are you sure you want to keep reading this? No, I want to get to end. It's a happy ending. <laughs> then it made the television turn on all by itself. Using a TV would be too obvious. That's why we'll cue our radio. Come back! It was just the radio! Wow, she's braver than I thought. I wouldn't have come back. But now that she has, it's almost time for her to meet me, the pig man. That scares me so bad. 
Sorry. That scared me too. <laughs> I didn't mean to like, leave you like that. Oh my god. Like you should feel my heartbeat right now. <laughs> it feels like it's about to jump out of my chest. Let's just finish it and then we'll be okay. Oh, that's so weird. I, I get scared like that too a lot. All right, the babysitter asked Caleb where it was that this scary pig man lived. Caleb said it lives under the bed. <laughs> Look scared to be next to your bed right now. All right, one thing left to do. This little piggy is about to come out from under the bed. Um, what, what are you You came back in the room after the music. Yeah, and you were yeah. terrified. <laughs> I felt bad because I just ran out without you, and I was like, "Oh well, I'm babysitting. Ran, I gotta go back." I tell you one thing: I feel alive. I just walked the prank. Oh my gosh, a double scare is so awesome. <laughs> hey, Billy, did you get my text? Uh, no. Sure you did. I texted Lori last night, and I broke up with her. So your whole sick, twisted, semi-impressive game is over. I'm the winner and you're the loser. <laughs> Chance, I just came here to tell you that I got your stupid text. Lori? Yes. You're real. Duh. And you made this the worst month of my life. First, I fell off of my horse and broke my arm. And then the guy I'm texting breaks up with me for no good reason. Well, we don't have to be broken up. Forget it. Nice to finally meet you. <sighs> hey, Bills. Good to see you. Call me. Bye, Lori. Sorry about Lori, Chance. I guess you should listen to me next time. I guess the lesson we learned here today is that the pig man is fake and Lori is real. <laughs> <laughs>